Hello and welcome to the biggest Les shop in Germany. We have Mark Constantine, one of the co-founders here today with us and I'm going to ask him some of our questions about the new shop. So hello Mark, welcome. Thank you. Um, so you have opened a lot of shops here in Germany recently yeah. and now Munich. Could you tell us why? Why? Yeah. Well, Germany, okay, let me, oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a historical yeah. thing, yeah? So I used to be the largest supplier for Body Shop years ago. And when we did the Body Shop concept, I felt that it was very, well, it was stolen from Americans by Anita in the first place. It was very English. Um, and, and that was the sort of angle on it. But then when I, I wanted to do Lush, I spent quite a lot of time in Germany and I spent quite a lot of time looking at the different concepts, but especially um, places where you could buy your lunch or, or supermarkets where I could watch how the organic sales were going and things like that. And so when I, when I first started thinking about the concept of, of Lush, I really wanted to have a European concept. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I was thinking again last night about that. You know, everyone talks about uh, Europe as a, you know, the Euro European project. And uh, I was just thinking, because I've got Brexit on my mind, uh, what is it that, um, what sort of image of Europe do I really like? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to just flatter the Germans and say Germany but it's yeah. certainly a very strong part of it. And, uh, and the image of Lush was, I suppose, done with Germany in mind. So it's good to now at last, 25 years on, actually have a shop that does it justice, which is this shop. Yeah, and I've noticed the shop is really, really big. It's almost a department store, you could say. Well, this is how I would like Lush to be yeah. from the beginning. These were the size stores I was looking at yeah. when I first came, but they were full of um, uh, vegetable broth and yeah. things you could buy to eat. And what would you say is the magic behind the department stores of Lush? Well, you know, I don't, this whole trend of closing department stores, it's just because they're boring. They just rely on the same old, you know, makeups at the bottom, and then, you know, other stuff we've seen before upstairs. They're not exciting. I mean, Selfridges in London—that's exciting. Liberties, where they really keep working on it. So you've got to have a lot of new product. Got to have a lot of new ideas. Is that the store just opening? Yeah, we also have those lovely new areas yeah. in this shop. Yeah. What would you say is your favourite of those areas, or what well, are this your is a very areas? nice one where you yeah. can have your coffee and. And you've got the, the whole fragrance library. Yeah. Uh, I like all of it. I, I really, uh, I love the, the behind us are the bath bombs. Yeah. I've just taken a little picture and put it on my Instagram. And yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, the spa it would have been good to have had a spa, but we can't. It's not big enough. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is just the store before the next store. You never know. You never know. <laughs> maybe and maybe it's have... another 25 years, though. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and we have, we don't have a spa, but we do have so many fresh and naked products here, more than yes. in, even more than in other lush shops in Germany. Yes. Where does the inspiration for all the naked shop uh, for the, all the naked well, products the naked, come well, from? Well, the customers want naked shop, naked products now. Yeah. So that's good news because before they thought they were weird, yeah. uh, and now they want them, and now I'm very grateful. Um, and the fresh, well, it's. Uh, there's so much preservative in normal cosmetics and uh, by the time it's preservative in them and then there's in plastic and uh, I just want to try and offer something different, you know, something that is genuinely fresh, full of genuinely natural materials. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to. And one last question for you. Yeah. What's your favorite naked product? The soap. Soap? I really, I really love I, it's not called Zen now, is it? We yeah. called it Zen. Uh, so that, what's that one called now, Zen? That's one of my favorite soaps, but I like Bohemian. Yeah. I, I like the simplicity of soap. I like the fact it's so effective. I like the fact that it, it's withstood the attack of all of these pump bottles. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just so simple, so perfect. Perfect formula, perfect in doing its job. Yeah, soap. I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark, That's for the a interview. It's a real pleasure. And enjoy Munich. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.